Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you the installation process of Eclipse on Windows 10. So to install the Eclipse IDE, firstly we are going to the Eclipse home page for the download. You can see the website here www.eclipse.org. I'm going to this particular website and then you can see here that the Eclipse installer now includes GRE, Mac, Windows, OS and Linux. That means it is the same process for any of the operating system for installation. So firstly you are going to download the Eclipse IDE from this particular page and then you have to download and you can see here that your Eclipse GRE installation file is starting to download. Now here you can see that this particular eclipse install.gre win64 this particular file and the application has been installed. Now as you run this particular application in your system you will get several options for installing the eclipse ID for developers, enterprise edition for running or executing the advanced java and using the several APIs so that you can use the particular API or the particular ID according to your own use. So now let us see that how can we install the Eclipse in our system. Now here you can see that this is the Eclipse ID for Java developers. The essential tools and other use for Java developers including the Java IDE, the XML edition all are here. So this is the file which is needed, this is the ID which is needed for the Java developers for executing the Java programs. So as you click on this particular file it asks you for the GRE and this installation folder which you can do according to your own convenience and then you have to click on install. You have to accept the software license agreement and this installation process will take some time and after it get installed you can run the Eclipse on your system. So here you can see that the installation is completed successfully and now it is asking me to launch. So I am clicking on the launch and the Eclipse ID is now in the launch mode. Now it is going to ask you for creating a workspace or a particular folder in which you are going to store all your Java and class files so that it can be accessible to you easily. So it is the beginning of the Eclipse ID and here you can see that select a directory as workspace so by default Eclipse workspace is the directory you can rename any directory you want to save your work in. So you can launch this particular file and then Eclipse ID will get started. So this is how the ID gets started and the first thing which we need to do is to create a Java project. So for that you can click here for creation of a Java project and as you click on this particular option it will ask you to enter the project name for example we are entering the project name as test then you have to click on next and then it's asking you for a bin folder then you can finish it with the SRC folder will be created and you want to create a module with the name test then yes you can create the module also with the test name so here you can see that a particular java package or the java project is made that name is test and it is having a src package and in that there is module info.java a packages a particular java program class is there now here you can click on now you have created a java project next i'm going to create a package for that you have to click here and then you have to click on the package and now you can name your package as p1 and finish this particular so it will create a new package here the p1 package and in that package you can actually create a class file of java and you can name the class file as hello and which stub methods would you like to create so you are just creating a simple program so we are using the public static void main method to finish it so here you can see this is the portion where you can write your particular code and then execute it which we will do in our upcoming videos for executing the code. This is how I've shown you for the installation of Eclipse then creating a Java project and then creating a package inside it and then creating a .java file for executing the code. For the coding part and for the basic programs of Java we will look into upcoming videos.